Take a deep breath. Tune into the beating of your heart. And awaken to a fresh perspective. Welcome to See More with More C, your go-to podcast for discovering a centered path for your purpose. And what's up? My name is Morsi. I help entrepreneurs, creatives, and leaders just like you invite presence into your life. Something deeper is calling us. The old flexes, old titles, old statuses, they just don't hit the same anymore. We're starting to see power structures shift within the mainstream where everyone can see it. And when I'm speaking about these power structures shifting, I'm talking about the entertainment industry. We can't not talk about power structures shifting within the world without talking about the entertainment industry. Why? Because The entertainment industry has a big influence on what success is. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's just the way life is. When you sit back and observe, when most people think of success, one of the first things that comes to mind is the wealth the successes, the achievements and accolades that have been modeled to the world and the entertainment industry. What's coming to light are these shady, dark dealings within Hollywood. I mean, the rabbit hole is so deep that as I started diving more and more into it, I found myself wanting to just fast and meditate. I did my own form of intermittent fasting and meditation. I'm currently on it right now. I wanted to just have my own cleansing. I wanted to make sure I had control over myself. I'm not interested in getting into the depth of that. Not for this video, not for this podcast episode, but I want to speak to you and bring to light the illusion that the industry has put on society, right? The glorification of money and status and image. Everyone's reaching for it. But all that glitters, it ain't gold. Once the truth comes out, the shine, it starts to tarnish. And that's what's happening. All lies are being exposed. (laughs) If you know, you know. It's quite interesting, you know, the people who are up here in these high places, these celebrated figures, we're seeing where their mental health issues are coming from. This constant chase for more and more and more, nothing is ever enough. Your happiness dependent on an industry, a large group of people who have more control. Your happiness dependent on an audience and the attention your your work is getting, whether it's up or down or high or low, it's not stable. There's not a groundedness in your day to day. And to know that if you ever tell the truth about your experiences, psh, you're dropped, you're, you're blacklisted, your reputation gone. Something deeper is calling us. The old flexes, the old titles, the old statuses, they don't hit. There's some, there's also, there's a powerful lesson we can learn from the, the celebrated figures, these even CEOs, right? For so long, they spend their life chasing the money, the accolades, the achievements, And in the end, they all tell us the same thing, that something's missing. That chasing 
still makes them feel empty. The luxuries are empty. The sacrifices they made, it wasn't worth what they received in the end. Their time, it's gone. As we evolve, we're starting to notice that the things that we show off, that are that people show off, that's not what brings true fulfillment. True fulfillment, it comes from our awareness of being, our essence, the awareness of who we are at our core. This is why I find myself incredibly inspired to speak about the topic of presence. Because it reminds us that in this world of the physical, there's far more beyond the physical. And so when you know there's far more beyond the physical, you're less likely to suffer. You're not limited in the ego consciousness. But you're aware Aware, you have a shift in consciousness, a shift in awareness of seeing more than what meets the eye. Truth be told, anything that we accomplish in the physical, right? It's not going to fully bring us that fulfillment, right? Financial freedom, building skills that we need, business growth, any form of material wealth is all very important for honoring, right? What we need to do in the physical. That's something I'm here building, learning, doing. These are the foundations we need to have a life of comfort and safety, take care of our family, do the fun things we want to do in the physical, right? But if you're only aware of that, you're going to always find your identity in achieving those things, in achieving financial independence, in learning more skills, in building a business. And then that feeds a cycle of more, 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 because the cycle never ends. We can always manifest more here in the world of form, in the physical, right? We can always create more. That's, that's a huge aspect of being in this world is creation. Everything is creation. We can always do more of that. And so when we're constantly trying to find our identity in the more, we never feel like we're enough. We never feel like we're complete. There's always a new goal to reach. Once you reach one, you go to the next. There's no awareness, not enough space for this moment right here. No matter any of the goals that you have for yourself. It's learning to make peace with this moment no matter what. Even if you feel you haven't haven't completely healed. Or you haven't reached that big goal or even a small goal. It's important to welcome in the awareness of making peace with right now. Otherwise, you get caught in the loop of more, caught in the loop of not feeling like enough, caught in the loop of waking up every day, feeling like it's just another day, asking yourself, is this all there is? It's when you tune into presence that you recognize this, I felt this experience in many ways in my life, right? If you didn't know, I I deleted my TikTok. My TikTok, I worked hard. I grew it to about 32,000 followers. I was quite happy with that. That's the most attention anything I've ever posted online ever got. I hit 10K, I was like, when I hit 10K, I was like, what? When I hit 20K, I was like, okay, let's go. We could do more. We can do more. And I shared that with someone, someone I knew. And that someone told me, you can get more, you know. You know, they weren't that impressed. (laughs) They weren't that impressed with the 20K followers because they knew someone who had 200K followers. They're like, you can get more, you know. 
right? As if it was so easy. <laughs> and then I started to be like, oh, here we go, right? Because many of us, we already know what numbers does to the mind. We already know how it messes with the mind. But it's when we start actually living the experience that we start to see, oh, yep, I'm just chasing. And so when I hit 32K, I mean, by that time I was over it because I started to wake up even more. You know, I on TikTok, I was already teaching presence. I was already in this energy, you know. So I found that I reached that realization quickly because of the nature of what I was sharing. I was always being pointed towards presence, right? That's the journey of a spiritual awakening. It's not always going to be quote unquote perfect. We have to continue shifting our mind not our mind, but our awareness towards presence. And so by that time, I tuned in and I said, this isn't something I need for many reasons, right? You can check out uh, my podcast episode where I dive into the reason why I ended up deleting my TikTok, but I deleted it. I let it go. I may have lost followers, but what I gained was an awareness of what true contentment is, a deepened awareness of what true contentment is. And that's the awareness of our essence. Tapping in, right? Presence presence can, can be as simple as enjoying a warm cup of tea, right? Being present in the moment, giving your fullest awareness to everything you're doing. And it can be, and it can expand it can be so boundless that you're fully aware that there is absolutely no separation between you and achievement. No separation between you and fulfillment. It's all one. You are life. You are the flow. You are the moment. You feel, you don't even feel, because it's beyond senses. And I share this from a very deep shift in consciousness. No plant medicine, nothing to affect my state of consciousness. It came from a moment of being. And I became aware of the nature of this very moment. It always deepens. There's always a, a, a deeper expansiveness that we can experience. And see, that's what's calling us, our essence, to remember who we are. So we don't get caught up in the cycle of chasing. Those experiences and the examples that I've seen in the world... That encouraged me to create my newsletter, The Enlightened Entrepreneur, to support enlightened beings just like you on your personal and professional journey, to encourage you to stay centered on your path of financial freedom, of building new skills, growing a business, being building, honoring the the physical wealth and abundance in this world. And at the same time, remembering who you are. There's some powerful messages out there that speak and encourage others about, you know, having that financial freedom and how to create in ways that honor yourself. But I notice they, they don't go as deep as non-duality, right? They don't go as deep as presence. They're continuously just speaking about that constant chase. Even though they may say rest, they're still in their mind. They're still so focused on achievement. There's not a moment where there's enough space to just be. And you're in that space, it expands, it expands, it expands, and you recognize, ah, this is it. 
I created the enlightened entrepreneur to continue pointing you in that direction, right? You, you are the hero of your life. My purpose and my intention is to point you towards fulfillment, to continuously remind you of your essence, continuously remind you of what is calling you. So you don't fall in for those tricks, those illusions that are put out in the mainstream, chasing things that are empty luxuries, reaching a goal you wanted so bad only to see like that it feels like nothing and there's still emptiness. I encourage you to subscribe to The Enlightened Entrepreneur. Become a part of the community. I've been um, offering, I offer one person each month, one premium subscriber each month, an opportunity to have a one-on-one session with me. And those sessions have been phenomenal. I'm so grateful to get to see you all. So be sure to subscribe. And uh, I plan on having some Q&A sessions and live Zoom calls so we can tune in, continue pointing towards this, honoring non-duality, letting go, surrendering, and learning what it means to flow through this world as an enlightened entrepreneur. Because when you honor non-duality, right? First of all, non-duality is not a, a distant, some distant concept. It's a recognition of your being, right? The recognition that you are not separate, right? There's no separation. And so when you honor it, no matter the extent, all right? It doesn't have to be extremely boundless as I described. It could be a a small amount of space. It does not matter. When you recognize that in your work, you stop focusing so much on, on trying to impress others, on trying to get new clients, right? There's a focus there, but it, it doesn't distract you. It allows you to enjoy the process and be in the moment. In your relationships, when you're having conversations with people and talking to people, you're not looking for the other person to fill a void. You're not looking for the other person to validate you. You're present in the moment. You're one with them. You're not overthinking, oh, what do they think of me, blah, blah, blah. No, you're just there. You're speaking, right? And your creativity, you do it for the joy, Once again, you're not so concerned about what others are thinking, but you're so one with the moment. The moment is so full. The moment is so enough that the moment in and of itself is the reward. See, the new flex is recognizing your your true essence. Out with the old flexes, in with the real flexes. It's honoring your true essence. And this is an example of the new earth. We're evolving. There's more and more people awakening to this. More and more are interested in being present and honoring non-duality. We're recognizing the need to prioritize our peace, prioritize our joy and inspiration, to be more... self-sufficient and not be so dependent on others, whether it's emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever it is, we're waking up and we're honoring our spirit. We're remembering who we are. This is a part of the evolution. Something deeper is calling us and the new earth, it's emerging. My name is Morrissey. I'm sending you peace, love, wholeness.